Cadix TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, July 16, 2013. Well, as expected, the uh, Bermudian startup reinsurer Third Point Re, which has been in operation for two years, has unveiled plans to uh, have an IPO in the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, JP Morgan Chase, Credit Suisse, and Morgan Stanley are leading the offering. Uh, the sale amount is $250 million in uh, money that they're looking to raise. Um, according to Bloomberg News, uh, Third Point founder Daniel Loeb, who began the reinsurer in 2011, is going to use the uh, added capital to increase underwriting operations. Um, funds affiliated with private equity firm Kelso & Company also own more than 30% of Third Point stock. Uh, Pine Brook Road Partners own 17%, Loeb apparently controls a stake of 11%. Uh, all of the funds from share, uh, excuse me, from uh, Third Point are managed by Loeb's hedge fund. Of course, John Berger, who is 61 years old, who has a long experience in the uh, reinsurance industry with Chubb and Altera and Travelers, and Jen Ri, uh, is the CEO of the company. The majority of insured losses from the catastrophic derailment of the uh, fuel-laden train in Canada, in Quebec, in Lac Megantic, that rolled down the hill, uh, are now likely to be borne by local carriers. This is according to industry sources. It had been thought that this was going to hit the reinsurance market in a big way, but apparently uh, the impact on the international markets is expected to be limited to $25 million. This is according to the Insurance Insider. Montreal Maine and Atlantic Railway, which is the operator of the train, did purchase $25 million of third-party liability cover from insurers, including XL, and that'll be the $25 million hit. Bermudian reinsurer partner Re has estimated natural catastrophes in the second quarter could cost it up to $120 million. They said losses from the 2013 European floods will be uh, between 50 and 60 million. And they also said that estimated losses from the extensive flooding in Calgary and Alberta, Canada at the end of June could cost between 45 and 60 million dollars. British investigators at Heathrow Airport are now uh, zeroing in on an emergency locator transmitter in the rear of the 777 Dreamliner that caught on fire on Friday. The Ethiopian Airlines plane uh, apparently uh, had been uh, vacant and sitting there parked for eight hours, which has people sort of scratching their head how the fire could just suddenly spontaneously erupt. The transmitter, which sends out the plane's location after a crash, is powered by a small lithium manganese battery. Uh, the real main reason that the industry is focusing on it is that the, uh, uh, the system is located directly beneath the searing heat damage that was visible on the crown of the plane's fuselage. Uh, Honeywell Industries is on site. They're the producer of the uh, device and they've been now assisting with the investigation. Asiana Airlines uh, of South Korea said uh, yesterday it's going to increase training for its pilots after the crash of Flight 214 at San Francisco International Airport. Asiana is going to give special safety training, including an enhanced program for visual approaches and automated flight to all of its pilots. It's also going to strengthen its training programs for those switching to a new type of jet. Also, this whole debate has raised questions about uh, the reliance of pilots upon autopilot. Uh, one uh, investigator said that what's happening is pilots flip on the autopilot at 250 feet over the ground and then they keep it on for 16 hours until one minute before touchdown, so you don't really get any flying experience. There was a magnitude 5.3 earthquake that hit Taiwan this morning. Um, the epicenter was uh, located uh, off of Welian and Yilan counties, there's been no reports of any damage or injuries. The Insurance Insider is reporting that the management company for uh, pop star singer Elton John is going to file a multi-million dollar claim with London market insurers. The insurers participate on a contingency policy that is going to be claimed against uh, due to his recent illness and concert cancellations. Uh, the Insurance Insider said that a claim that had been reported in a UK national newspaper, the Daily Mirror, of 15 million US is not a credible loss number. Um, his uh, insurance non-appearance policy is likely to be the biggest claim of the year. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.